John John. A rare bucket list travellers. And in this video, we'll be sharing traditional Nicaraguan desserts that you need to try. In 2020, we were pursuing our bucket list goal of getting to 100 countries before we die, when the borders suddenly closed and we found ourselves living in Nicaragua. We've been making the most of this opportunity to explore all that this wonderful country has to offer. We've experienced the natural beauty of Nicaragua, the warmth of its people, and also discovered the joy of eating Nicaraguan food. So without further ado, let's taste test Nicaraguan desserts. a traditional Nicaraguan dessert or cake kind of thing. They're like, like a bread. sweet bagel. Yeah. Um, so they're round. Um, often they come in this pink glaze, but I don't know if they necessarily need to. So we got a dozen for 20 Cordovas here in San Rafael del Norte. They're quite sweet. They're light. Do you want to have a try? Sure. Mm. So it is a bread with a sweet glaze over it and it goes well with tea or coffee. And you can buy them in a lot of places. So we've seen them in bakeries, we've seen people going around the street selling them. They do seem to be one of the more popular sweets that you can get in Nicaragua. They're everywhere. in Nicaragua and this bag of risque has cost us 10 cordovas. So we've got a couple of different types here. This one with a dollop of something in the middle and then we've also got these round ones which have a bit of a hole in the middle. So I'll try this. The biscuit itself is quite savoury and I think it's probably made out of corn or maize but it's got a dollop of some sweet sugary thing in the middle. I can taste like a little bit of saltiness to it. Mm. It's got a nice crunch. I've been seeing these popcorn balls sold all around the streets in Matacalpa and Hinatega, and I've forgotten what they're called, but I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, they seem to be um, sweet popcorn balls with some manner of honey or something like that. And these were eight Cordobas. So what do you think it is? Mm, yummy. I reckon it's a caramel made from cane sugar, I think. Very delicious. I think we're going to have to buy more of these. Okay, it's 10 Cordobas and it's a peanut-based sweet. I'm looking forward to getting into this. Oh, it looks, looks and smells very sweet. Here we go. Yes, it's very sweet. It's very easy to bite into. I, I was wondering whether it was hard, but it's not. It's like a fudge. It's like a peanutty fudge. And I love this. Mm, so sugary and good. So the sugary taste, it's very much like raw cane sugar. So I'm going to say that that's healthier than refined sugar. Healthy. Doubtful. Okay, so these are bunuelos and they are very yummy. We've had them in Messiah and we're really looking forward to this. And they're four for 10 Cordovas. Si, gracias. So they're soaked in honey and they're really sweet and yummy. Really nice. We're halfway through our review of the best street food desserts of Nicaragua. If you're liking the video so far, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more great Nicaragua content.
petters are very popular around the festive seasons in Nicaragua, particularly for La Purisma and Christmas. We just bought some cajetas or Nicaraguan candies. So we have two tops of coconut, we've got papaya, we've got peanut, we've got milk fudge, and finally coilito, which is a berry and banana mixed in together. We've dedicated a whole video to taste testing cajetas, so be sure to check that out. We've been looking for these for ages. They're huelos and they're traditional Nicaraguan desserts. We found them at a bus stop here, just near Selva Negra. And they're 10 Cordobas each and they look delicious. So it looks like there's a crunchy tortilla with some manner of sweet thing on it. And it looks absolutely delicious. So, mmm. It's nice and crunchy. Just a subtle sweetness. It's not too overpowering. It works really nicely with the flavor of the flatbread. Really good. This Nicaraguan dessert is an atoleo and we bought it from Parque Morazon here in Madagalpa for 10 Cordobas, which is great value. It's nice and warm. It's got a consistency like custard, I guess. Mm. So you can definitely taste the corn. It's sweet, but it's got quite a subtle sweetness. And you can taste a few spices in there, maybe like cinnamon or nutmeg, that sort of thing. Uh, so I think if you're really a big fan of corn, this would be right up your alley. Yeah, so I guess it's kind of like a sweet corn dessert. Similar kind of consistency to rice pudding. It's kind of like a sweet soup, but it's quite yeah, it's pretty good. I, I feel like it, it'd be good on a cold day to kind of warm you up. We're in Esteli and there's a festival of arts here which celebrates all the different cuisines and dances and culture of the different departments of Nicaragua. One thing that the Department of Messiah is famous for is cajetas or sweets. So we have leche de burra which is donkey milk. Donkey milk is the literal translation, but I don't think it's donkey milk. It looks like a nice little caramel. This just looks like a type of fudge, which I like. That's nice, it's, that's a nice candy. I can taste a fair bit of cane sugar in it. I'm sure this is gonna be very addictive. What do we have next? The next dessert that we found also from Messiah is mancar. It feels like a runny, sticky version of cajeta de leche, or milk fudge. Mm. So I guess I'm just going to use my hands and pick out some. It's quite gooey. Can you see that? And then it goes. How is it? Oh, it's very nice. It's basically like a caramelized, sticky, sweet condensed milk. It's very nice. I like it. Okay. How does it compare to Cajeta de Leche? Ooh. I think, I guess the downside with this is that it is a bit sticky, but it's still nice. You're going to get your hands sticky eating this. Mm. Worth it. Oh, this is good. Come kind of reminds me of like when you've got a dessert and you get to lick the bowl. It's kind of that sort of, that sort of feeling that it reminds me of. And would you say it kind of tastes like a caramel pudding? Yeah, yeah, it's a caramel mm. pudding, essentially a caramel pudding. Yeah. And oh, it is very good. addictive. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like a sticky date pudding. Oh, that's really Moorish. I think this might be my favourite. And finally for today, we have the sweet treats. So what are they called? Caramelo Royal. Royal. I think these are hard boiled candies, I'm not sure, they look like it. I'll see if I can bite into it. Okay, you can bite into it. But you yeah, probably should. It's pretty should. hard. Yeah, it's pretty hard. So these are nice, nearly hard boiled candies. Mm. Also very delicious. We hope you enjoyed this video on the best desserts in Nicaragua. And if you did, please hit that like button. Were there any Nicaraguan desserts that we missed? What other Nicaraguan foods would you like us to try? Let us know in the comments. We are Bucket List Travellers. See you next time.